Hello everyone, this is Crown Vic. Welcome back to my channel. Here we have a hair tutorial on how to transition your hair from wearing weaves and braids and lace fronts and wigs into wearing your own natural hair. If you guys would like, please subscribe to my channel and click the like button if you enjoyed this video and keep on watching if you would like to hear how I transitioned my hair from weaves to wearing it natural. Hey guys, um, I'm back with another video and today I'm going to be um, talking about how you train your hair. So um, basically what I mean by training your hair is going from like um, you never wearing your hair out. So training your hair to act right when you want to wear it down or you know um, just your natural curly hair on an everyday basis. So you transitioning from weaves like me so transition from weaves or um, just braids all the time just not wearing your natural hair out or even transitioning from straightening your hair all the time um, a little backstory about me about how I started wearing my hair out I never used to wear it out just because I didn't know how to do it so around the age of four, 13 my mom always did my hair and she was like, you need to learn how to do your hair yourself. So I would always have to do it. So it would either be in a ponytail and a ponytail. I wouldn't do anything else because I didn't know what to do. If I put conditioner in, I rinsed it out, I put grease, like it would just poof up. It would be frizzy and I would look like a mess. So in high school, um, I met my friends, um, more of my friends now that I still hang out with. Um, and she introduced me to weave. She's like, and her hair will always be nice even when she straightened it I was like how did your hair get like this she's like this is a weave I was like what's that she's like you don't know what that is like a sewing weave so ever since then ever since I met her I've been putting that weave in or been straightening my hair and I feel like when I did that I kind of like I don't know if I wanted to match everybody else or look like everybody else but where I live no one wears their no one wore their hair like this no one wore their hair natural curly like you didn't see black girls wearing their hair out and I was already the tallest one in the room I would be like the only person wearing my hair natural too so on top of me not knowing how to do it on top of me no one else looking like me wearing their hair natural I just felt like the outside box like I wanted to mold in which wasn't great because I wasn't meant to mold in but that's what I wanted to do at the time so after that, I will say in college, that's when I started learning how to um, love my hair and actually like learn how to do it. Like learn how my hair works, learn what black hair needs, what I need to do to um, strengthen it, moisturize it so it could be happy, laid, and not search for moisture. So go back to training your hair. So when you decide that you want to wear your hair more natural, natural out, like, you know, um, in and out of weaves, or like when you don't wear your protective styles, like your braids, your weaves, like you want to wear your hair and not be obligated to be like, all right, like, I still don't know what to do with this. Like, I have to get another hairstyle, or I need to leave this old braids in until I get enough money to do them again. Because, let's believe it or not, like, this is expensive. Like, doing your hair, weaves, braids, all that is high. So for you to be able to train your hair in and out of weaves and eventually like if your whatever your hair goals are, if you do want to wear your more your natural hair like more often, then this is what you can do. So the first tip that I would give you guys to start wearing your natural hair out is to deep condition more. Deep conditioning basically opens your hair to grab soak in moisture on the inside of your hair follicle. So it, it deeply conditions your hair. It brings in the moisture. So when, I guess, so, so say if you just took your braids out and you just like, well maybe you do like, a, you know, put a leave-in conditioner, you put an oil in, you put a cream, and you braid it up, and then you wait till it dries, and then you unbraid it, and then it's just frizzy. You're like, what the, f like it worked on her. Like, what the, f what's going on? Like, why is my hair not working? she's doing this she's doing that why isn't my hair doing like what these other youtubers are doing 
because I'm doing everything they say like my hair is not cooperating with me and that's because you're not um, doing the prep it's like you constantly put on makeup for example like you constantly put on makeup and you take it off and you still have like like creases and um, your blemishes are coming out and your your face is melting it's like because you didn't do the prep you didn't wash your face first you didn't put on the oil you didn't put on the primer all this other stuff so you need to prep your makeup before you actually put it on so it can stay on longer so it can look more vibrant and your eyeshadows look good you need to prep so that's what you need to do your to your hair you need to prep your hair before you do all your twist outs and all that other stuff you need to do the backdrop the dirty work right so deep conditioning at least once a week if you can um, if your schedule is not as busy or you just have more time I would um, do it twice a week just starting off so your hair is used to gathering moisture because when you take it out the weave your hair is searching for moisture in the air instead of like all right like I already have all I need um, so when you take it out it's constantly searching for moisture because maybe because um, you don't deep condition while you're in braids you don't deep condition while you have weaves you know you don't put a lot of moisture that your hair wants and needs in your in for its you know for its every day without searching for moisture elsewhere you need to give it what it needs so it won't be frizzy it won't search for moisture elsewhere in the air so that's the first tip deep condition and I suggest that you do it with heat so you can get a heating cap um, what I do in my washing goes, um, I'll link it up below so you can see how I wash my hair and I just deep condition every time I wash my hair, I just deep condition after and um, I put a heating cap on. But if you don't have a heating cap, you can put a towel. So you put your plastic cap on and you just wrap a towel around. That's what I did when I didn't have a heating cap. And it works just as the same. It just, it doesn't create heat, but it leaves the heat in the hair. Like it just gets warm, but it doesn't get really hot. But it still works the same when you put heat on um, it opens up your hair follicles to soak in more of that deep condition that you put in your hair so that'll be my first tip deep condition um my second tip would be what's my second tip second tip is to keep your scalp clean when you're going natural and you want your washing or you want your hairstyles to last longer like either your washing goes your braid outs um, twist outs whatever that you're doing you want it to last longer you want um, to have a clean scalp because a clean scalp equals more natural growth um, not more natural growth a clean scalp creates your hair to be able to breathe and grow faster and it depends on your scalp. Some people say don't put shea butter on your hair, don't put oil on your hair, don't put grease on your hair. And some people say just leave your scalp clean, don't ever put grease on it. And it just depends on your hair. So you need to find that out. So if I put this on, how quickly does my hair dry up or get dandruff or it doesn't grow or it's itchy, stuff like that. You need to, you need to find out what works good for your hair. But you need to have a clean scalp, you know? Um, and with a clean scalp you need to have a clean scalp and also your ends so a lot of times people get those little knots on the end you need to um, just have healthy ends so sometimes when I do my hair I put shea butter on the on the bottom that kind of helps the hair not be splitting or get tangled with each other just to have moisturized ends clean and moisturized scalp is the best so for the look of the hair to make it um, I guess look better um, that will be the first two tips is just to deep condition and keep your the in the roots and the ends moisturized and clean um, <clears throat> and my third tip my number third my number third my third tip um I would do more protective styling, natural protective styling. I know some people are like, I'm not wearing my twist out out the house and I'm not wearing um, these um, Felicia braids outside the house. Like I'm not gonna look homeless, like no. But I don't care personally, cause like I'm comfortable with that kind of thing. I feel like, hey, this is my natural hair. Like if Becky don't comb her hair and she come to school looking frizzed up, like ain't nobody looking at her crazy. So why can't I come how I look? With my braid out like I'm confident in that 
base of my natural hair. Like I, I can go out the house looking like that. But some people, I mean, they're like, hell no. Because it does take a long time for those braids to dry if you don't do it overnight. But anyway, back to the story. Um, so I would do more protective styles. Like if you don't want to wear your twist outs or braid outs out the house, uh, maybe do it smaller and you can wear them, um, I guess it looks like kind of like um, box braids, you know. But if you don't want to do that, I would do maybe like two French braids. Um, moisturize the hair and then do protective styles because when you do those your hair um holds more moisture longer just because it's gathered together and it's you can tell like your braids are more wet and the hair is allowed to clump together and soak up all that moisture together after you deep condition on a regular you keep your scalp and your uh, your ends clean and moisturized Wear your hair in protective styles, natural protective styles, I would say um, for the first two weeks, I would say, in more protective natural, natural styles so your hair can get used to be, being worn out instead of being covered or with synthetic hair or be clipped away in a wig cap, stuff like that. I'm going to go into how you style your hair, what products you use. You use. So there's two types, there's three types of porosity. There's high porosity, which everyone thinks is the best porosity just because like it gets wet quickly and it soaks in the moisture, but it's kind of hard because it's easily grabbing moisture, but it's hard to seal it because it gets the moisture, uses it, and it's, it's constantly opening the shafts and drying up quickly, quickly, quickly. So it's kind of hard to um, retain moisture. Um, Low, low to medium porosity is the best because it grabs onto it and once it has the moisture it needs it's just chilling and you know you don't need to worry about anything and low porosity is hard as well that means it's it, your hair can't grab onto moisture as quickly or at all even so that's the hair that like you wet it and the hair you see hair beads sticking like it just it's just beads of water in your hair and you're like it's not getting wet it's because your hair it's, it's low porosity so high porosity my hair that I can mostly give better tips on high porosity hair is I use the LOC method because if your hair is too dry or doesn't have enough moisture it'll break off and it'll shed it'll break off on the ends it won't be great so the best method I use is the LOC so the L stands for leave-in conditioner the O stands for the oil and the C stands for the cream. So whatever products that you choose to use, just pick some products that you like um, to use and try that in your hair. I would braid it up and leave it be. If you wanna pop a wig on, pop a wig on. If you wanna pop one of those nice scarves on, pop one of those nice scarves on and go about your day or you can wear it out like I do. But I would leave them in for protective styling just so your hair can get used to being out, being down, um, just so it can feel that it's environment because your hair feeds off the environment. So for instance, I moved from Atlanta back to Cali and my hair in Atlanta was flourishing. It was beautiful. It was growing so fast. I didn't have to do a lot to my hair just because the humidity in the air because it's high porosity. So it's constantly, if it has moisture in the morning, and it dries up, there's humidity in the air. So it's just like, yeah, it's just getting moisture all day. But in Cali, I had to change my regimen. regimen. I had to do different things because the air isn't, you know, isn't humid, isn't moist, and it's hot, it's dry. Um, I live in the valley, so it's really dry air. Basically, it's the desert. Um, so, you know, I had to change my regimen. So your hair plays a lot on the weather, which is why these protective styles are gonna help a lot when you're trying to transition from more protective styles or straightening styles to wearing your natural hair out. Um, what was I talking about? I keep like, that's one, one thing about me, like I'll, I could talk for days, but if I switch the subject when I'm in the middle of a subject, I'll forget. But if I'm like, okay, if I don't talk about it now, I'm gonna forget and I just keep going in and out. So yeah, so protective style, so the LOC, oh yeah, LOC. So for high porosity, um, 
I think the LOG method would be good, but I feel like any method is good for any porosity. I hate when they're like, oh, this is best for this porosity and this best is this porosity because sometimes, well, I know the L LOC works really great for me, but also, I mean, it just depends on your hair type, what your hair likes, what it doesn't like. So you can try different things. You can try the OG, which is the oil in the gel. You could try um, the LO, which is the leave-in conditioner and the oil. And if you just you just go off what your hair needs. So if say if you just do a leave, I feel like the leave-in conditioner is like the base of everything. So because you want your hair to be moisturized, so you want to put in that leave-in conditioner or just a regular conditioner. Um, <clears throat> And then you go off from there. So you want some type of moisture. So you're going to pick an oil. Um, pick an oil. And if you want to do something extra, like say if you do that, the, the leave-in conditioner and oil, which I put in my hair. It's just a conditioner. I washed my hair. I left the conditioner in. I got out. I put the oil in it. I put two French braids. Wait till they dried up. Took them out. And this is what my hair looks like. And the reason why, like before in high school, if I did this, my hair would be everywhere. It wouldn't look this nice. But now, since I do my hair on a regular, I deep condition on a regular, my hair looks like this. My hair can be down and not search for moisture, get frizzy real easily. It'll stay like this all day. All day. It's going to stay like this all day. It's going to look good. Um, <clears throat> but um, basically, when it comes to porosity, it's just like you learn what, um, how to deal with your hair. How, how you can bring in moisture. That's the that's why you need to know about your porosity. You can learn what works for other people and go off that. But if it doesn't, then you just change your regimen. So if it's too dry, it's too crunchy, um, then you just change it up. And sometimes your hair changes too. So say if the LOC, if I use it for three weeks, and then one day my hair is just frizzy. It doesn't like it right now. So you gotta change it up. You're like, okay, maybe it doesn't want a cream, maybe it wants a gel, maybe it just wants oil right now. Like, you just have to go off how your hair feels and how it looks. So with the different methods of how it works for people. Um, so back to the story. Gosh. So you put the leave in and you put in the oil. And you braid it up, you take it out. Okay, it's moisturized, it's fluffy, it's not too defined, but if you want a more defined look, you can put a cream or a gel. So just different methods to layering, layering on products and learning what products work for you. If you want a more detailed video on uh, the different methods, um, I could link it down below, but um, I'll pop in right here. Uh, a little picture right here, it shows you the different methods that work for different, um, for high porosity and low porosity, just so you have a base to go off of and to see um, what different methods or how you can layer your products um, to see what best works for your hair type. Um, if you don't know what porosity you are, there's plenty of videos on YouTube that can explain to you what hair porosity is, um, how, to, um, how to do, how to tell what porosity your hair is, how you can, um, find that out but basically I can just tell you right now um, basically you just either take a piece of hair off an old brush or <laughs> my dog's like flipping upside down he's so funny okay you can take an old piece of hair off a brush or you can pluck a piece of hair out your hair and you put it in water lukewarm water I mean not lukewarm water just regular temperature faucet water you put your hair in there and wait five minutes so say this is the jar my phone case my phone's over here so this is the jar glass filled if your hair is at the top it's low porosity that means it doesn't soak in moisture easily um, you need to work your hair to, to, to open up your follicle to retain moisture where that deep condition is going to come in with that heat because it's going to open up and soak up that moisture right in different products to help open up your hair follicle um, <clears throat> normal porosity is gonna be in the middle not too hard to soak in moisture you don't really need to worry about all that heating up and different um, different products for your specific hair type um, and then high porosity which is mine sinks down to the bottom um, so that's high porosity and then you can go um, about it 
like you can see what your hair looks what process your hair is to um, see what um, what products to use and how to go about you know doing your hair because that's very important because it's it shows you how your hair um, soaks in moisture um, <clears throat> So back to the, uh, the methods, so basically with high porosity hair, you want to get the moisture in for any porosity hair. You want to get that moisture in, which is your oils and your leave-in conditioner and your creams. And sometimes the gels have, um, gels are more for defining, I would say. But it depends if they have like shea butter in it or something. But it's going to be your leave-ins, your oils, your butters, your creams. You want to get that moisture in and then you want to seal it. So you seal in your leave-in conditioners, your creams, all that with the oil. So that's why you have the LO, the leave-in and the oil. You get that conditioner in and you, and you seal it up. You seal in that moisture. Just like, uh, you just seal it in. That's the, basically what you wanna do for your hair. Um, and you want your hair to get used to getting in that moisture. Um, with all these methods, constantly sealing that, putting in moisture, sealing it up, putting in moisture, sealing it up, so your hair is just soaking all that, that stuff up. It's like, okay, I'm getting it on a regular. I'm getting it on a regular. I don't have to go to another house to get what I need. No pun intended. Give, give what your hair needs. Mm -hmm, no pun intended. If y'all know what I'm thinking, then okay, whatever. So that'll be, I feel like those are the basic tips that you need to learn or do when you're trying to weigh your hair out more. I know like, the reason why I'm doing the video, a lot of my friends, they like see me doing videos and they're like, hey, like how can I, um, how can I, you know, wear my hair out? Like, what do you do, you know? And like, why is it so frizzy? Why is it like this? Why is it like that? Because basically you need to do the prep before you weigh your hair out. That's the thing, you need to do the prep. And once you do all that, I suggest that you guys do um, a lot of trimming. Um, I would say trim your hair about um, every two to three months um, and then do like and then once you do that I don't think you need to do like any major chops unless you want to do like a shaping chop um, um, you know a blunt cut like a style but if you um, just cut your hair every two to three months it should be good or if you like you know you're doing your hair and you see like a really thick piece and it gets like really thin at the end like sometimes I get those like it'll get thick and then really thin see like this this piece is like really thin and I probably need to you know, like cut it like up to here just because it's so thin because my hair used to shed a lot so that I have a, like I used to have like a lot of thin pieces at the end so just keep a pair of scissors with you you just chop a little bit um and then just get regular trims every so often so um yeah I think that's about it about what my tips are but my biggest tip is to deep condition and to keep it simple I see a lot of different um, gurus like doing a lot of different products and putting a lot of things in their hair and some and I try to do that like with my YouTube channel it's like okay I need to buy this I need to buy that I need to do all this stuff for my hair so I can get viewers and it's like no like my hair doesn't like it complicated it likes it straight to the point just like me i like it straight to the point direct like tell me what it is what it ain't what am i using simple so my hair likes it simple so the basic thing that you need to do for your hair the, the number one thing i would tell you to do if you don't do anything else in this video if you don't trim your hair if you don't do all those loc log methods the basic thing i would tell you to do is deep condition your hair Deep condition your hair, rinse it out, and you can just leave in that, that regular conditioner, put some more conditioner in your hair, put it in a ponytail. Put a little oil in it, throw it up in a ponytail. If you don't want to do the protective styling and you know allowing your hair to clump together and just say hello to each other and just you know feel each other's the relationship it's building with the, with the braids and the twist outs. If you don't want to do all that, then I say the basic thing you can do if you don't want to do all that extra stuff because I know like my friends like I ain't doing all that I ain't braiding my hair every day I'm not I'm not washing my hair every day like that's doing too much because curly hair trust me if you want to go natural it's not going to be easy it's not something that's mastered by one person it's everyone's different and you just have to listen to your hair and know what to do when your hair reacts a certain way to certain products so it's just 
you know, if the basic thing that you, you that I want you guys to do just to train your hair is deep condition. Deep condition, deep condition, and it's gonna look different. Every time you deep condition, it's gonna look more defined, more laid down, not as frizzy. And when you put that product in, throw it in a ponytail or whatever you're gonna, gonna do, it's gonna help your hair. So that's one of the things I really want you guys to do when you guys wanna transition to more natural styles, is just the basic deep condition. Then throw some type of moisturizer in it, uh, a hair smoothie, uh, hair cream, uh, oil, anything. And then you just go from there. If you want a little extra, like, oh, I want my hair to fine. Then, you know, do that, do that L-O-G, you know, throw that in there, slap it in, you know, do a wash and go, do a twist out. And then you just go on, you're gonna like gradually want to do stuff more, I think. But if you're a lazy bone Joan like me at first, I wasn't trying to do all that, then, you know, just do the, uh, the deep conditioner. But when it comes down to it, I mean, you're just going to have to do a lot for your hair because that's what it takes. Like, it's not easy. I'm not going to, I'm not going to, you know, sugarcoat it for you. Like, this shit is hard. Like, this shit is time consuming. Like, people are like, you always doing your hair. I know. I'm tired of it too. Like, that's all I do. I do my hair. Almost every two to three days, I do my hair. I'm either rinsing it out, putting a conditioner in, and that's just what you have to do for your hair to grow. So yeah, that concludes my video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, if you have any questions about your particular hair group, I know I didn't touch on straightening hairs, but basically when you straighten your hair, just stop straightening it and just do everything I said. Just stop straightening it, stop putting heat and just letting your hair, um, just do what I, uh, I suggested, like deep conditioning and just stop putting heat on your hair. But if you guys, yeah, so that's, oh, that's the last tip. Don't put any heat on your hair but that concludes my tips guys if you have any other questions please let me know in the comments down below or you can dm me on my instagram i'll link it right here uh, at crown underscore underscore crown vic underscore underscore you guys can dm me dm me on ig comment on one of my hair um demos um if that interests you or you can just comment down below and ask me anything that you like or if you want a different video on certain hair tips or a style that you guys think that uh, would be cool um, let me know, know that as well please hit the thumbs up button if you like this video and um, the tips were helpful for you and you can kind of take some home and kind of like slip that in your regimen and transitioning from you know not really wearing your hair out to like rocking that diva crown fro that lioness fro so I help that you guys, you know, um, enjoy this transition, enjoy um, getting to know your hair and kind of like getting to know yourself like this is you, like your hair is you. This is what God gave you. This is your natural self. Like, you know, I feel like every black woman should embrace their hair and love their hair because it's like, it's like basically loving yourself. It's self-love and getting to know yourself, you know, this is me. So. Yeah, guys, um, I'll see you guys later. Thanks so much for watching. I love you guys so much. Please subscribe if you guys want to join the Little Crown Vic family and view some more videos I'm going to post up. Um, I'm thinking I'm going to do story time too because I love to talk. So if you guys like talking videos, please stay tuned for that. Um, I just have to find stories that are appropriate because I don't want to tell too much about my business. But anyway, I'll see you guys later. Have a great, great day. I hope this helps you so much because... I mean, I know I needed help when I was growing up. So, um, I'll see you guys later, and have a great day. Bye.